correlated stocks. And what I mean is this, let's say Microsoft, it's trading $115. Let's say there's two Microsofts. Let's say there's Microsoft A and Microsoft B, okay? Two different versions of the same exact stock, right? There's nothing different between Microsoft A and Microsoft B in this example. They both trade, they both have the same amount of liquidity, volatility, they're absolutely identical. So if these were absolutely identical and both were driven by pure supply and demand in the marketplace, over time, they should track one another, right? Over time, they should trade the exact same level. They should never be any different with them whatsoever because it's the exact same company. But because these, because stocks are driven by pure supply and demand, over the course of any day or any week or any month, maybe we see a whole bunch of buyers come in for one of the names and not for the other. Now, why would this possibly happen? Well, who knows? Let's say a hedge fund is short a whole bunch of Microsoft and is forced to cover Microsoft A. Well, that's naturally going to put that stock higher, right? Maybe they got a margin call and they have so many shares that they move the stock. Now, does that mean that the value of Microsoft is increasing, that Microsoft did something that their market cap should be higher or is just supply and demand rallying the stock because somebody is forced to cover. So what would happen here? Would this rally? Would this have to rally? Not necessarily. What could happen here is maybe this goes 116 and then this naturally comes back over time because remember they're the same exact thing right there's no difference between these two except supply and demand so these are the kind of trades that we're looking for because right now this is going to have a correlation of you know almost one if things are correlated one that means they're identical they're exactly the same the reason that these wouldn't be correlated to be one is because they're two different instruments that trade on their own supply and demand. But if you follow them closely over time, you may see a disconnect and you may put on a trade that gives you where you're trading the difference between the two, hoping that they come back to trade the same price. Okay. Guys, does that explanation make sense? I'm gonna tie it, I'm gonna expand on it. I just don't wanna expand until this makes sense to you, okay? These are the exact same. It's a silly example where I broke off Microsoft into two separate companies, but I want you to see they're two completely separate companies. It's like uh, two ETFs that trade 100% gold bullion. Two ETFs of two different fund families, they trade 100% gold bullion. They're exactly, exactly the same, but over time they might trade at different prices because of supply and demand. Okay? So it looks like everyone who replied is following along on the example. Is anybody not following along before I move on? Makes sense, makes sense. Chris is saying, can we look at um, Google versus Google? So let me, let me just expand. I just want to share the comments. Curtis is saying ABBA and BABA may be a good pair. So the overall message of this is not that we're looking for companies that have a 99% correlation. What I want to show this example is if you wanted to trade Microsoft and you're on, you know, this is today. If you wanted to trade Microsoft, without a doubt, if you wanted to get long Microsoft, you'd want to get long Microsoft B. If you were a seller of Microsoft, 
you want to sell Microsoft A. For me, I don't want to guess on the direction of which way the stock may go. I'd rather trade the difference and I'd rather try, I try to capture that $2. Because I know that if I sell one and buy the other, that my overall risk, it's kind of limited, right? I mean, if they're the exact same companies, is it possible for one to trade 125 and the other one to trade, you know, 88? I mean, I guess if it's driven by pure supply and demand, anything is possible, but you would have to think that the market is pretty effed up if that was actually going to happen, right? So for me, I look at this as a unique opportunity to trade the identical instruments against one another and possibly capture two points with very limited risk. 